To upload an article to the CFA News and Media site, click on the Contribute tab. That takes you to the login page. You just enter your username and password and click on Login. Once you've done that, you notice when you hover over the Contribute tab, you'll get these various options. To upload an article and attach photos, click on this link. And this is where you start adding your content. So a headline needs to be uh, sort of short and punchy, and it's really the, fir the first thing that people see. Uh, so you need to make it as interesting as possible to get people to open your article. In this box, you enter the first sentence of your story. It's called the intro. Uh, and that, again, needs to be uh, entice people. It needs to be interesting. It needs to entice people to, to read the rest of the story. So the most interesting thing about the article and the reason why, the reason that it's newsworthy or the reason that you think it's of interest needs to be in that first sentence. Then you put the rest of your content in this box here, the rest of your text. You can include links uh, by clicking on this uh, tab. You can enter a URL and link text. Um, it's something that people quite often want to do. Selecting districts, this is about the location of where the, the article happened as it were so if you're talking about a training night at your brigade and you happen to be in district 7 then click district 7 it's not about uh, you know who you want to read the story it's not about who the story might be of interest to it's just about where the story happened so most stories uh, most articles that you're uploading will be about something that happened in a specific location so you choose that location here if there's no specific location uh, you just click in general. So if it's a general article about an issue or something uh, more generic, uh, then just click the general tab. The categories. Uh, so we also ask you to select a couple of the most relevant categories to what the article's about. The, ar the categories are pretty self-explanatory. People uh, is really an article. It's obviously everything that we do generally involves some kind of people. Um, but the people, t you should only click the people category if it's like a profile uh, a profile of a particular individual or something that's really centered around a specific person and not just people in general if you have photos that you'd like to include in your article click on this checkbox select whichever category is the most relevant for your photos and article enter a title and a description it's a good idea to enter a date include a date uh, in your title um, so that it's easy to easier to find if you need to come back to it. And then you just click select files and you can choose the select the images from your computer that you want to upload. Once you're happy with your article and your photos, you can either just save the article, in which case it won't be published, it'll just be saved in your saved articles, or you can click save and publish and that will publish the article directly to the site. Once you've uploaded the article, it's always a good idea to go in and check, make sure it looks the way you'd like it to look, make sure all the links are working, and so on. If it's an article you uploaded, you'll have this option here. You can click on Edit Article, and you'll be able to go back in and change any mistakes that you've spotted, any typos, and so on. And once you've done that, you can just click Save and Publish again. You can also access all the articles that you've uploaded through the Contribute tab by s clicking on Edit News and Photos. And that will show you this page, uh, which includes all the articles that you've uploaded. And you can view them and edit them from here as well. The final option on the uh, Contribute tab is Edit My Account. And that's where you can go to update your password or email address, any of your profile details. But remember, if you do change your email address you need to make sure it's also changed on Brigades Online or CFA Online so that it can verify you the next time you log in.